folks, welcome back to my 100 great action dexterity games. Today we're going to be going through the letters C and D. These are great games. Some of them you can find at thrift stores, some of them you can buy now. Some of them aren't in print at all, but I just I wanted to go through and take a look at these games which often don't get a uh, proper shout out from many, you know, places because they're just flicking games or dropping games or stacking games. So we'll start with Cairo. Now Cairo is a very unusual game. Uh, it's a Euro style game in which you're trying to get resources and you have these boats that are going down the river Flicking cubes off these boats trying to knock over towers and things as you go down the river It's kind of a, a, a unique game where they try to mix some interesting Collect different things mechanisms with this flicking game and it probably didn't work well for most people It didn't really last that long, but I like it Karom this is a you know, I had one of these as a kid. There's so many different games. This is, I, I call it almost like the poor man's crokinole, where you have this board and with nets in the side and little discs and you're flicking them around or hitting them or playing checkers with them on the board. I mean, there's, usually these boards come with like 20 games, but the flicking games in it are the ones I'm talking about. They're a lot of fun. It's probably not as smooth or as awesome looking as a uh, crokinole board, but I like it a lot. Castle Crush. In this game, each player is going to be building different castles on their side of the board, and then they're going to be crushing them or, or swinging things and knocking them over. It's fun to build, but even more fun to destroy. Cat Tower. Here's another stacking game. This one kind of gets overshadowed by Rhino, Super Rhino Hero. Um, but Cat Tower has some folded cat cards, and you are simply stacking these on top of each other. But you also be drawing discs, and you might have to do something unusual or do something different as you stack the different cats on top of each other. These folded card things. They also look like box cats, I guess, if you like that sort of thing. Catch them, or plunger, or there's 47 different names for this game. I think Pounce is a name for it. I can't remember all the names of this game, but essentially in this game, everyone has something on the end of a string. So my favorite version, I think it has a mouse on the end of a string. And they're all in the middle, someone rolls dice, and depending on what they roll, they're either gonna catch the dice, or catch the things or not with a cup. So you slam the cup, or I think there's one version with a, uh, a traffic cone, and try to catch people. But if you don't roll the numbers you're looking for, then you're not supposed to catch people. But if you pull it out, you're out of the game if someone is not supposed to catch you, but if they do catch you out of the game, very simple game. Fun, 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 fun. There's a reason it has 47 titles. It's almost public domain at this point. Chip, chip, hurrah. This game was designed by Klaus Teuber, also known for Settlers of Catan. Um, in this game, you have these robots and you are flipping chips with like this catapult thing onto a board and then moving robots around the board to collect these chips. And these robots have dice underneath them and those dice are gonna change as they move basically due to the ridges on the board. It's kind of a very clever idea. I like it a lot, chip, chip, hurrah. Clack, clack, lumberjack. This is a game where you have a tree and you're gonna be hitting it with an ax. I think there's also a, a, a very shiny jewel looking one of these games, but you're just trying to chop off the bark without knocking off the whole tree. A fun dexterity kind of a variant on Jenga. Uh, climb. This is one of the more unique games in our list where you have these cards with holes in it and you're climbing up a mountain by using fingers and you have to stick your fingers in the holes and climb up with them without messing up the cards or touching a spot. It can be very, very difficult and it's a lot of fun. Clout Fantasy. This is a game that came and was gone. I remember going to a convention and they handed them out to everybody and these are chips and you're throwing them on the floor and depending or on a table or whatever and depending on where they land then they have different actions and they're attacking each other. But the whole game essentially was these heavy poker chips with special abilities and you throw them down. A really neat idea. Unfortunately, we never saw as much as it could have done but for what it was, it was a lot of fun. Cornerstone, this is a game in which you are building a tower and then trying to climb up the tower. So there's not there's the dexterity of building it, but also some strategy as to how you move up it. Crossbows and catapults. How can we not put this one on the list, right? A game in which you have these discs and build these big castles and then shoot them and see things blow up as a kid. This was an amazing experience. I was jealous of everybody who had this game and you had all different kinds of ways to shoot the discs and big castles with guys. It's more of an experience of, again, watching things blow up that, rather than um, anything else, but it's so much fun that who cared? And they get great commercials on TV too. Dancing Eggs, this is a game that comes with some big rubber eggs. Oh, and, a, and an egg carton, no less. 
and you take these eggs and you're gonna be bouncing the eggs or grabbing the eggs and whenever you get an egg you then are gonna to have to hold it maybe uh, you know here between your cheek and your shoulder or in your armpit or you know maybe between your wrists or whatever and still keep playing the game without dropping any eggs really fun to watch other people play dart wars really unique game it is a dart board with a risk map or a risk field to it and you have these little pieces and you're attacking other countries how do you attack other countries by throwing darts to show where you're going to move to when you fight there's a little target and you throw and whoever's closer to the middle of that target is the winner magnetic darts and it's really weird but it's an interesting unique game and definitely deserves to be on this list Disc Duelers. This is from Level 99 Games. This is a game where you're flicking discs around the board and they're like, what? That's not good enough. Let's give all these discs special abilities. And that's what you have. So if you like these flicking discs all over the place type games and you want them to have special abilities, then this is the game for you. Dr. Panic. This is a weird one. You're at a mansion and of an evil scientist and you're jumping in his pool to grab stuff. Essentially, you're feeling around for uh, different puzzle pieces with different textures on them and trying to find the right pieces. It's a very strange game. Most people are not big fans of it. Um, and that's actually Dr. Shark, which I've been just talking about. Dr. Shark is this game. Dr. Panic is a completely different game. But so let's talk about Dr. Shark. So you're going in grabbing things by feel and putting on the board. Really unique, interesting game. Dr. Panic, also very unique and interesting because it's a party style game in which you and a partner are working together doing a whole bunch of different actions. Maybe to uh, balance a card here or, or to push something here without it. Uh, you know, touching stuff. And meanwhile, there's this app going off at certain times. Everyone has to shout clear. You're all working together to get a patient, but you and your partner want to be the fastest ones to do it. It is one of the few games I played where I was exhausted and out of breath when done. Draken Term. This is a game where there's a big tower that you are building over the course of this game and then rescuing Princess, getting her down as fast as possible. But the tower is being supported by a rock that a dragon is slowly pulling with a string. It's a, a mechanical toy type thing. And eventually he's going to pull that out and the whole tower is going to fall. Again, extremely unique and interesting and it's a lot of fun and the tension is really high. It's a cooperative style game. And finally, Drop It. Drop It is very similar to one I talked about last time, Batik, where you're dropping these different shapes between two glass things, and you are going to score points based on how high they are. But the same colors can't touch, the same shapes can't touch, and you can't touch certain spots on the side. Very strategic games, extremely popular. That's Drop It. So folks, those are my letters C through D of 100 great action dexterity games. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. Wilson, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.